you guys can already tell from the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to bake today to get this a really flawless look. And also just showing you how I did my eye makeup today. Uh, a little different than my typical golds. Still kind of shimmer, so it probably looks like it, but it's not. Um, going to show you guys how I do my little baking with the Ben Nye powder that Kim Kardashian uses. And then as far as the eyeshadows, uh, I'll be using the Morphe palette, 350. And yeah, hopefully you guys like this video and enjoyed watching it and hopefully learned something. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to get started with this video, so don't forget to be subscribed to this channel so you can see more videos and the vlogging channel also. Yeah, let's get on with this video. All right, guys, so right now all that I have on my face is concealer, foundation, and as you can see, I have done my lashes. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I do for baking, how I bake first, and then I decided I guess I can show you how I'm going to do my eyeshadow for tonight. Um, I usually do the same look every time. I'm kind of going to change it up, but it's still kind of the same. Not really. Different colors, but it's that same kind of look. I always do very golds, browns, neutral colors. This time I'm going to use a little more dark brownish, but still some shimmer on top, which kind of looks like my typical gold ones, but it's different. So the whole baking thing, um, I was never really big on it because I don't like to apply too much foundation. I mean, too much makeup on my face, but... Literally this thing. I mean, I never believed in it and I know people that are obsessed with like Kim Kardashian The whole like tutorial when the makeup artist used that um, face Powder on her everyone was going crazy and like years. I, I didn't care. I just liked watching the show Anyways years later. I was just finally like oh, I should try it like who knows maybe I'll end up liking it Hmm I love this thing. I don't wear it all the time, but I've had this, I'd say a year. It could be even more, but this is what it is. The Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. Um, I It's for all skin tones. Um, so this yellow powder is supposed to brighten up your skin. Wherever you put it on, it's supposed to really brighten it up, which is true. It does brighten it, but wow, this thing literally, literally makes your face look freaking flawless. So that's why I only use this for like special events or when I want to look real good. But other than that, this thing is amazing. I recommend it. I think I paid like $25 on Amazon. Um, and yeah, it really does work. Oh, do not, do not ever apply it with a brush and doing like swaying back and forth motions on your face. Just don't do that because this powder will crease into the lines you have under your eyes, any wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. And we do not want to look freaking cracked as hell, so don't, don't do that. So what I just use is a beauty blender. And then since, you have to be really careful because, <sighs> did you guys see that? <sighs> That's why you have to be careful because this damn powder flies everywhere and it falls like crazy. See, just, I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, anyways, it's already like coming out. So what I do is I just apply a little onto the cap. And you just need a little, so. Let me see if, I, if there's any way I can show you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I applied that much. Damn it, I am such a mess. I just pat the Beauty Blender onto it. And all that that came onto the Beauty Blender, I just apply it under my eyes. Really pushing it into my skin, though, but making sure... It's a thick amount, and I'm not completely, like, blending it into my skin just yet. That's why it's called the whole baking. We're trying to let it bake onto our faces so it could really stay on there and work its magic. And then pretty much just put it on the areas that you'd like to brighten up. So I want to brighten up this part of my nose, obviously under my eyes, and I put a tiny bit on my chin, usually just whatever was left on the beauty blender, just to kind of really brighten up that. Anyway, so I'm, I just let it bake on my face while I do my eye makeup. Once I'm done with the eye makeup, you guys will see how I 
take it off, but I'm going to use this brush here, this e.l.f. brush, and I know I told you guys not to do that, but pretty much what I'm going to do is slowly kind of, I can't think of the words, slowly brush it out, but not really hard, because it's such loose powder, it's going to fly out anyways, so I just do loose very soft motions and then right after I pick up the beauty blender again and really push it all into my skin and you're gonna have a very good looking face I just let that sit just like I told you and I'm gonna go on to my eye makeup so with the eye makeup I'm going to grab the I already told you guys the NYX eyeshadow base this is how it looks like it's just very nude it's supposed to be just like my skin tone, it's too bright. You guys get the point. And just with my finger, just kind of put that all over my lid. All right, so this is a Morphe palette. So the color that, I can't even see now. Hold on girls. The color that I'm going to be using is this one down here, and that's what I'm going to use for the outer lid. Um, I'm just going to make a V-shaped, and then grab a different brush and just slowly blend it out. So this is the color that I'll be using to put all over my lid. It's kind of like a dark red maroon burgundy color, but it looks really pretty on. So I'm just going to use this little eyeshadow brush and just pack that onto my lid. Alright, so we're doing good progress here. I'm not messing up. Thank God, I always mess up. So then, the next color that I said I was going to use on the outside um, of the shadow that's already on there, kind of like the crease area, is going to be this color. And honestly, I'm not adding a lot of it. It's just little quick motions just to give it some extra color on the outside. Who else does that? Itchy throat. For the brow bone part, I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. And I'm just going to use that top color right up here for the brow bone to really make that stand out and be shimmery. So that is pretty much it with the eye look. Now the last thing that I'm going to use to make the whole look very shimmery is this pinkish rose gold um, shimmery shadow. And I'm going to use the same brush but the same eyeshadow brush just the other side um, to pack that shimmer on. And I'm just going to pack it on right onto the lid. So that is pretty much it with the eye look. Now the last thing that I'm going to use to make the whole look very shimmery is this pinkish rose gold um, shimmery shadow. And I'm going to use the same brush but the same eyeshadow brush just the other side um, to pack that shimmer on. And I'm just going to pack it on right onto the lid. So the whole baking process. So this is pretty much how it's going to go down. Um, I'm going to grab this big fluffy brush and slowly just kind of remove the excess off. Remember, not too hard, but 
Just slowly remove it and then we'll do the whole beauty blending, pressing it into our skin. So it's like I'm kind of pushing it in with the brush, but slowly just like getting it out of the way. Because even with a brush, you're kind of like pushing it in and right away, honestly, look, I'm pushing in and it's already gone. So this is pretty much how it looks like. It really does brighten up your skin. I don't know if it's my lighting, but it really does if it looks the same to you guys. But that's pretty much under my eyes, chin, the nose, everything. This is how it looks like. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I do recommend it. You just have to know how to put it on your face and how to work with it. But other than that, it's really good. Recommend. So I'm going to finish off my makeup on my own. I'm not going to record this part because I just kind of wanted to show you mostly the whole baking stuff and tell you guys about it and how I do it. And since I was doing a new makeup look, I decided to show you that too just because I don't do so many. I'm going to try to start getting into them. It's just colors just don't look good on me for some reason. Like crazy colors. Um, but yeah. This is my face right now. Maybe I'll show you little clips here and there of just my makeup, but other than that, I'm going to do this on my own and watch The Vampire Diaries because I'm trying to finish the seasons. I'm late on watching it, so I'll be back. I'll be back already fully ready, probably with my hair done. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, guys, so finally finished my entire hair, changed into my dress, and did the rest of my makeup, so this is how it looks like. I'm trying to get the lighting to look as natural as possible, but I need to get um, white bulbs. But anyways, this is pretty much my final look. I know if you see my other videos, it probably looks the same, but I love this look. And <clears throat> I wish you guys can really see in person about the whole baking thing, just because right now, like, my skin is looking real good. At least in person. Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty much it. I added just a bit of blush, have my matte lipstick on, use the Kat Von D, best purchase ever. And you know I don't like spending a lot of money on makeup and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, that is pretty much my entire look. Hopefully you guys like this, hopefully you guys learned something or already knew about the powder, but maybe wanted to see what I thought about it or how I bake, but yeah. That is pretty much it. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also my vlogging channel. I'll leave everything linked down below, social media and my other channel. And yeah, hopefully you guys like this. And don't forget to share it with friends. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. And any new video ideas you guys would like to see. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.